Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to another show of Inside Eve. Yes, your favorite show in the world, I will always say because it is. And it's my favorite show in the whole wide world. The reason why it is, is because I not only host the show by myself, but I host it with two gorgeous, fantastic, intelligent, career-oriented women, very strong women. So before I go ahead to introduce the rest of them, my name is Boo Boo. You can call me Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Girl, I rock. I rock. I rock. And then to my middle. <laughs> Your middle. Uh, sounds wrong. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the show. My name is Foma. It's good to have you on the show tonight. Yes. It's going to be exciting as always. <laughs> <laughs> and? Okay. My name is Adairin Sola. If it's a mouthful, you could call me. Derry. Derry. So, <laughs> Welcome to the show. Sass. My name is Adairin, so life it's a mouthful. Ooh. Just call me Derry. Bring a girl. Welcome to the show. Welcome <laughs> to Inside Eve. Like my friend would say, the best show in the world. It is the Your best show. Your favorite show in the, show world. In the yeah. world. Guys, what, what do you think? Am I exaggerating? Oh, yes, no, not what is. do we think totally or what do we know? <laughs> you just you just you, you That's what we to know, me. sister. I, I receive it. Yeah. I know in my know. I, I mean, <laughs> Ah, you rock, girl, you rock, you rock. It's far, it's far around there. <laughs> okay, so Completed. welcome to the show, Woman to Woman, where we are real. Yeah. Well, you cannot get it as real as you can get it on yeah. Inside Eve. Now, ladies, last week or last weekend was Valentine's Day. Mm. How did you guys spend your Valentine's Day? Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> Jeez, Darren, Darren. Mm. You picked the wrong person. Oh, come on. I'm serious. It was, it was, uh, okay, I was supposed to rest or just probably attend the particular function. I did not. I helped. I went somewhere. I was supposed to go somewhere with a friend. And then the car had troubles and we were on Third Milan Bridge oh. for the bulk of it. I was so scared because there were hoodlums around, you know. Mm. I was like, what a Valentine Day. But eventually, oh. we were able to tow his car to the island and then... We had lunch. I went back home to sleep. Valentine's Day. Was that your boyfriend? An old, no, an old friend that just needed company <laughs> to a particular meeting or okay. something, and not oh. a boyfriend. Well, it's not about nice. one anyway. But for me, what about you? <laughs> it was exciting. I told you guys. She, though, she said she was gonna get fun. wasted. Yes, totally Pong. whacked. Center. Also, <laughs> yes. oh, you can say it on men's team up, but I mean, you can say it oh, on other body men's team up. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 well, nice. Well, mine was nice. It was smoking hearts. I like that. She's taking it. She's learning a lot from me. Thank You're you. rubbing off on me. I know. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so smoking hearts. Now that she's wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine, mine was 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 pretty okay. Although it didn't really start. It did start on a very good note. I oh. mean, you guys know about it already, so. But eventually, I think I had fun um, with, with some games like Mr. and Mrs. and Who Wants to Be a, a Millionaire. We played some games oh, and won nice. very good prizes. So, nice. yeah, it, it, was, it was good. It was very good. It was very good. <laughs> now, nice. now, now, okay. I want to ask a question because, you know, there's this, there's this just about proposing because there are a lot of proposals that happened this val yeah. um, Valentine's yeah. Day. So I want to ask you, um, Darren, how would you, how have you, fantasized about how your proposal will look like? Hmm. <laughs> fantasies. I, I think a while ago I stepped away from the world of fantasies, but then <laughs> let me take, let me do like a moonwalk and see. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want a crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would want him to call attention and like someone did yeah. once, person took um, like bulk of their friends to the cinemas and actually paid for the hall. But wow, because it was wow. dark in there, the guy didn't, the lady didn't know that her family members, her friends <gasps> were in there. Aww. And then, okay, we were just seeing a random movie. And next thing is, somewhere in between the movie, she just sees her boo on screen. Aww. I want to tell you this, da, da 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 would you marry me? And her niece walks up to her and says, Auntie, please marry my uncle. Oh, how can you mm. say no? And then the lights went up and everybody ah. in the hall was like, what? <laughs> So I don't know if I want that kind of drama or I just want something as romantic as putting it in ice cream. However, I hope I don't choke on it. <laughs> or inside a bar. So, I don't know. You I, I, I think I want, I'd want a little drama. I'd want him to be creative. What kind of drama? Be creative. Maybe bake cake and put it in it. I cut it. Don't just, just be bring something out of the box and say, oh, yeah, marry me. What was that one? That's the one for you, Well, 
Okay, I know you've, you're already married, but well, you passed now, that stage let, let me first of all tell you how I was proposed mm -hmm. to, right? Mm -hmm. It was on, in Cape Town, you know, by the sea in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Now, if you've ever been to Cape Town, it's a beautiful city. Oh, it's gorgeous. But I can't imagine any other way. It was, it was perfect. It was very romantic. Oh. I, I just can't imagine being proposed to any other way. A really. special shout out to Mr. Fome. <laughs> Sorry, Fome's husband. Mr. Dabo, shout out. <laughs> um, I think for me, I've always wanted, I don't know, I have this thing with the Eiffel Tower. I just love the uh, Eiffel Tower. I just love mm -hmm. it. Um, I wasn't proposed there, but um, if you're listening, you can repropose. <laughs> Like seriously, yeah, no, right. no, no, seriously. Um, but that, but that has always been my fantasy to be proposed um, to uh, in Eiffel yeah. Tower. Just so the view nice. is is gorgeous, um, right? and then of course you're in a romantic city. How how? Come on, I know it's a bit cliche, but yeah, that's what I would love. You could take her there, and do something. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him. Thanks, Darren. I think you can hear. That's like a gentle. Do you understand one girl for me? We do, we do the right way. <laughs> All right. Okay. So nice. we have got gist for you guys today. Oh my God. <laughs> that woman. <laughs> You don't know where to start well, from, I, right? No, I, the I do woman not. I, yes. That abandoned her the, the old yes, I do not know how to start and this. I came just. for the groom. Now, there's this woman, mm. a mother, a mother, I repeat, a mother, mother, who left her kids, two of her kids, in the city of Manchester. I don't understand. She flew <laughs> all the way down to Nigeria for what they call Wedu. Oh, um, I Owambe. It's only yeah. Nigerians that Owambe. do things you know, like that. And left her two kids, they're ages 10, 10 and 12. Yeah. 13, I think. Okay, 10 and 13. Like it matters, you know, yeah, they're still kids. She left her kids for two, two, she was going to be away for three weeks and they were unattended to. They, I mean, as, as it is, it's quite cold in the UK. There was no <laughs> heating, there was no food. I mean, <laughs> ladies, can you please respond to that? Well, was she coming to get married or, or she was just coming to attend somebody? I don't event. understand how she a came for it. can leave, abandon her kids. Not you know that there's nobody else there to take care yeah. of them and just leave them and go for you're not even a party, you're not, not even for a surgery, not like even it. business or something no like babe, a surgery, like okay, your kidney is hanging, that, is hanging by the that, thread and it's make, going to fall out. You have to go, even at that, you have to make arrangements for someone to take care take, of your exactly. kids, and and you know, living in a country where they don't play with. Like at that. all. Oh, I think the kids are already in like what they've been taken into course, um, social so care up, and all that. Straight up, and apparently custody, she was picked yeah. up at the airport. I think, yeah, like, what you, the thing is, she came back because she got a call mm -hmm. that she had to return back. You um, know, Nigerian community now. Ah, they don't go your house. So and you know, in the UK, neighbors can be really nosy once they hear your child screaming or crying unnecessarily. I don't think the straight kids up, were even crying. Yeah, screaming. not to talk of you yeah. know leaving your kids like that. Unattended to, okay. abandoned. What can I understand? What a party. What was she I, I want. Of? I want to believe that there's more to this story than what than was reported yes. because it just doesn't make any sense for a woman to leave her kids alone. Yeah. We I know that like paying for babysitters is quite expensive and all of that. About but like you don't get family for. This. Yeah, it's just. It's it's funny. I don't know. It's just it's don't funny. you have family members there? Don't you have anybody that can like actually attend to these kids? Don't you? Couldn't mm. you just do something? I don't know. It beats me. Okay. It beats me. It beats me. It's not something and, I, I don't anyway. <laughs> I don't know what the father of the kids will do. I don't know what the father of the kids will do. But then there's another story. That's yeah. her cup of tea. I hope that she gets penalized. Whatever it is. Okay. Talk you about mean it. imprisoned. <laughs> Talk about it. Anyway, another story. Somewhere in Bangkok, um, some people decided to do like a little ceremony. They had one last year, and um, the what now a book or something? How did they pronounce that? Uh, the did not. The, we are head of monks or something. Yeah. He did not have plans to do another to have another one this year. Yeah. I think Valentine's last year fell on a special Buddhist yeah. ceremony, yeah. so religious ceremony day. So they just decided to do like a wedding mm. ceremony for some people. So this year people came and said, Oh, want to do it again? Can you do it for some why not? And guess what? This time around this is how they do the thing. You lie in the coffin. The couple. The couple <laughs> lie in the coffin. <laughs> so then they put like cloth over them. That's like a ridiculous. burial. And then they resurrect as a new I mean, couple. Pictures, all the bad luck. Scrolling, so you guys all the bad luck it. taken away from them. It is. Yeah. With, then they hold on to flowers and die in love and resurrect together in love. Is, isn't that what Romeo it is? Romeo and Juliet. 
<laughs> like seriously. I don't know what is happening. The whole world is going crazy. Like the world is upside down. Yes. Okay, because Earth is supposed to be like what? like this so there's no upside because it's, um, it's, I don't you know, know in, in all that part of the world they have all these really strange religions very strange Buddhism and whatever else they call them it's, it's more they're all music. quite similar but I don't know I've never heard of anything this, like this that this is an extreme I've never heard it's, of I think as it, it is part of their culture the only time anybody should be in the coffin is when they're dead they're, they're dead and they're being laid to rest oh the epoch had an sorry had an excuse or an explanation for that that's to remind them that um we're only here for a while so they have a feel of it like seriously no, no ways, man. Well, i'm sure they, really they can never bring that into nigeria they, didn't, they really didn't have a feel because for you to really have a feel of that you need to be dead <laughs> really? Okay, um, here's some, something I think I should also read out. It serves as a reminder for couples to live with the reality that nothing lasts forever, mm. a key component of the Buddhist philosophy. And it also brings about wedding blessings. The ceremony is believed to bring true love, prosperity, and protection from harm. Oh. Hmm. All the best. I don't, know, it does, I don't know if it's... It, probably to him, it sounds romantic. Like, I don't know, it's some... They don't have things no... that they are worried about. The price of fuel there is probably regular. You think so? They don't have they, NEPA, they don't, PHC, they don't or have just around, taking right? their lives. They don't have, no, they don't have things that... Because really, the things that you hear when you watch international news, sometimes you're like... Mm -hmm. You know what, the bottom line, crazy. I think it works. I believe what you, what you believe works for you. Mm. So, if that's their belief, I pray it works for them. Pray. And that, that yeah. bad luck... No, they've taken away bad luck, I so they're married with them, good rather. luck. Or, don't try this at home, or don't try this yeah, in life, exactly. or don't try this in weddings. Or <laughs> See, coffins even cost don't. a lot, because the man that is making the coffins uses a generator yeah. too. It's, this is expensive. You can't afford to play around with it. All right, guys. I mean, this, this is what we have. This is the gist we have for you today. Um, we're going to be coming back with a uh, different segment. So we're going to be talking about something really important, something controversial, right? Yeah, of course. Very controversial. We are, we've been battling it already here on Inside Eve. Wait. How much more you guys who have been commenting on our Facebook page. By the way, our Facebook page is facebook.com um, slash myr2tv. Please um, tweet at us regarding the topic uh, we're going to be having today. It is r2 underscore tv. And, and the phone lines are open. We're looking forward to hearing from all of you, males, females. Give us a call. Mm -hmm. The topic is... Mm, drum roll. You <laughs> <laughs> said drum roll all the time. You should look for another thing to say. Anyway... <laughs> Which is more important? Is it money or is it love in a relationship or in marriage? Du, 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 du. <laughs> now, you're going to find out very soon what the ladies of Inside If um, feel, their opinion, and also your opinion. Like as I was saying, the phone lines are open. The numbers to call today is 08091 222283. It's 08091 222284. For making you help me. Sure, Bobo. Other numbers are 08091 222285. That's right, girlfriend. Yeah, I got it. 08092 And then we were talking about our app. Our app oh, yeah. is that thing is not fantastic. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it from me, though. You need to go on um, Google Play Store if you use an Android phone. And if you use a BlackBerry, BlackBerry World, our app is there. R2 TV, please download and watch it. Anywhere you mm -hmm. go, everywhere you go. Except when anywhere. you're driving. No, don't watch it when you're... <laughs> no, don't. I would personally seize that device. But then really you could watch in the restroom, watch it. Anything, it's very convenient in the restroom <laughs> as well. Whilst away time and oh, on our Facebook page, right? You can yeah, stream. it helps you to, you know, do what you got to do. You can stream like, that's <laughs> fine. And this is R2 TV, entertainment at its best. We'll be right back. Please do not go <laughs> away. Hey, what's up? What's going on? My name is Eva Alodia. I go by the name E to the F A F R. This is your boy, you can Mr. Drew. God bless on the building, and you're watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. In RT. In RT TV. Keep on watching. <laughs> You can now watch R2TV online at royalrootstv.com and on your smartphones by downloading the R2TV app for Android, Blackberry and Windows Mobile from the respective app stores. Apps for iOS devices coming soon. R2TV, entertainment at its best, entertainment everywhere. We 
are back. Oh God, and we're back with a bang. What's the topic <laughs> of today? Please, oh no my bangs days. in here. No, this is going to be a lot of poop, poop, poop bangs here back because bang. we're talking about something really, really important, girls. We're asking you what is more important. We're asking everyone what's more important. Is it love or is it money in relationships or in in the marriage in your home? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go first, and then I'm going to ask. <laughs> usually you throw you, it Usually to... I'll throw it, but I'm going to go first, because I know you all have a lot to say, so I, I, I want okay. to just go first. Okay. I, I feel that I, I love money. Oh, I love money. Hmm. Don't let me get preaching right now. But <laughs> I love money, but I, I am a total sucker for love. I, I was I waiting for that. absolutely love, love. I, I, I believe so much in love. So even when I hear people say, Oh, love doesn't exist. That's a lie. Love is, is so important. Love is so passionate. Love is like the air you breathe. Love, mm. is, love is amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's exciting. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I will not, I mean, like I said, money is good, but I will always stick to love anytime, any day. In my relationship, in my marriage, mm. I will stick to love because you know how it is when you wake up in the morning and you, you're beside the person you love. You don't have money. You can afford to drink, Gary. Boo, are you sure? Oh, yes, yeah. because I have. For how long? Don't get well, me started, no, no, no. though, boo-boo. The thing is, things happen. It's just, I'm, no, I'm being, this is my opinion, girls, so let me have this. You can say what you have to say, <laughs> but I'm saying that, you know, this happens. Mm -hmm. It does happen where you, I need to just let somebody talk now. <laughs> yes, we have well, a call. Calling, you know, I was right going now. to say something, but we, we have a call. I, I have a call. Call next me. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, Hi good evening. How you doing? Well, well guys. Thank you. Thank you. Put my horse up down. I'm fine, thank <laughs> you. How are you? Yeah, oh. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I want to contribute to the oh, yeah, sure, um, topic on ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is more important, money and love in a relationship or marriage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, serious question. Mm, very serious. <laughs> I think for me, money is everything. Mm -hmm. Money brings love. Yay. When there's money, when there's money, like seriously, when there's money, there's love. Huh. When there's money, you will care for your spouse, no matter what. Mm -hmm. When and care is love. That's just mm. it. In, in this century, and I don't think any lady is ready to like, uh, Okay, let me start with my husband, or let me start with my other friend from the grassroots. I know things to get to get better. Okay. There's no hope. There's no hope in the country now. There's nothing like hope. <laughs> what we want is reality. It's not that bad. Oh. Come on. <laughs> you said? I said it's not that bad. Come on. Yeah, ladies, really for now, I think what they want is just reality. They want okay. to see it coming. They don't want to hear, keep on hearing stories and stories and stories. Like, okay, it's going to be better next year. Okay, let's keep praying. No, 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 no. When there's money, there's love. That's all I know. Okay, okay. So, so we, we guys are up to the task. We just need to work hard to get this money. Okay. And, okay, so let me just ask you quickly. You said when there's money, there's love. How about when the money yeah. goes? Because sometimes, you know, things may change. Yeah. What about when that money goes? What happens to the love? I think when the money is there, then the guy is just, it's just a matter of like, okay, still work hard and make sure the money keeps on coming. And pray for it not to go. Because when the money goes, <laughs> the love also goes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was the truth. Well, I, I hope, you, I, I, hope you meet, I hope you meet a girl who would love you for who you are and not because of the money you're provided. Yeah. I really hope you do. Yeah. Sure, sure. I appreciate so. Actually, I appreciate so. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you so you. much for your call, Lexi. Yeah. Thanks for watching right, the show. Bye. 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 All right, we, we have, have another, another call. caller. Hello, Mr. Oladi Meiji. Hello. 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 Hi. Yeah, I want to take part in this wonderful program of yours. Thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, talking about love and money. Yeah. Okay. I think love is the most essential. Mm. From my own point of view, when I married my wife, I was zero. I didn't have anything. But she loves me, I love her, but now we are in money, we are really enjoying it. Mm. When you have love, money will eventually go in one day, one day. But if you have money, it's not certain that love is beating. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. 
But if it's love, amazing. When you love yourself, you tolerate yourself, and from there you just pick up. Things will start falling in place. But if it's, if it is money that is in need, that at the initial stage, then everything will all just be because of money and not because of the love involved. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Ladiweji. <laughs> you understand? Yes, yeah. we do. Yeah. All right. So that's my At least you're a living example. <laughs> Hello? I said you're a living example. Living example that not come first before money. Yeah. Yes. Just even think about the money. <laughs> when you love yourself, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much, sir. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Can I sorry? Of course, can please. I say something yes, about what please. I mean? He's a good example. However, yeah. I have seen situations where mm -hmm. you would be with this man and love the man, of course, and he doesn't have anything. Yeah. And then you are loving and loving and believing. Yeah. The day money comes, there's mm -hmm. a way they say it in Yoruba. I'll just translate to English now. That when someone has m doesn't have money, mm -hmm. the person is um, the person exhibits another person's character. But then the day he has money, his true character would come out. See, not everybody can stay humble when yeah. they have money. True. I know a number of people that they stood by their men when the men had nothing. And then suddenly, brrr, money comes in, and suddenly it's like, did you pay my rent? Is this your house? Don't touch that thing. It is my this, it is my that. Why do you want to know how much is in my account? Hello, when there was nothing in the account, you, it was okay for her. Yeah. Baby, see, nothing, just 10,000. These people have deducted 500 naira, SMS charge this month, you know? It was okay to share figures then. And then suddenly there's 10 million naira in your account. And so please, for me, it is good that you should love. I love love too. However, I think I'd rather be with a man that has some measure of money. I'm not talking about a coil, dangote kind of money. That's but then he's... No, 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 no. We are going to get there eventually. <laughs> but then for me, love, yes. Love should be there. However, not a pauper, not somebody that is like totally on a zero, zero, that needs me to help him feel like a man, that needs me to boost his ego. And every time he feels broke... Every time he feels less of a man, I'm telling him, oh, baby, don't worry, you are more than this. And he's like, thank you, baby. Then the day money comes, you know. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm, we're going to get back to you. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Hi, good evening. Hey, good, good evening. evening. She sounds pretty. Hi, you guys. We're, we're fine. We're thank you. Good, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm calling from for time court. Okay. okay. And I feel and believe that uh, what comes first is love, because mm. when there is love, there is, there is everything. Mm. Mm. Because in a situation like that you get married to somebody you don't love, mm. and you got married to because of money. Mm. But when the money is not there, the love dies. Of course. But when there is love, this this happens naturally. You mm. don't have to you don't have to see the wrong side of him. Mm. I don't know if you get what I'm uh, trying to say. We totally no, no, no. understand what you're saying, but can I ask you a question? Okay. Um, now, check this. Your mechanic or your plumber that is not educated okay. is um, well-behaved, you know, you have a good laugh with him once, twice. Why is it that a lot of people would not go ahead and marry and say that I love this person? Forget any other thing that he doesn't have money, but I love him. I'm following this conductor for love. Mm. Would you do that? Following the conductor because of love. Uh, can you love yeah. someone that doesn't have like conductor level, nothing? <laughs> Sorry for this. <laughs> well, to me, I, just, I, I, I believe that should be personal. It's what you want. If you want to find, it depends on your, love, your level of love you have for hey. somebody that will determine if you can, if, even though it's a we by will push her. If you love him, it's your choice. That's like right. For me, I will not marry somebody I don't love. I've, I've come across guys that are very, very weak, but I don't mm. love them. And I don't love them. I keep asking myself, what if things turn out the other way? God, I can't just imagine how the marriage will turn out to be. Mm. And I, I, I don't just pray that I get married to somebody I don't love because uh, I think there will have to be a wedding of part two. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you for coming. I'm actually love watching this program for a very sexy time. Oh, oh, thank you so thank much. You. Keep watching. Thank All right. You.
Thank you. I okay. love, thank you for being specific. I love the lady from the left. She's so pretty. I love your open face. She's talking about you. Oh, me. Thank you. <laughs> me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please watch on Wednesday too. We That's do this right. Mondays and Wednesdays, 8 to 9. Wow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. She sounds nice pretty. One. She sounds But you know what bothers you me? Pretty? She sounds just sound <laughs> pretty. You know what bothers me? What bothers Everybody you? says it's love comes first. Mm. I do believe that love comes first mm -hmm. and then money. Because I believe that <laughs> no, no, what bothers me actually is the fact that most women will say love comes first. But what if you've been managing with this guy for so long? and you keep believing and hoping things are going to get better and things are going to get better and then you have other admirers that have so much money and you are in need of this money mm -hmm. would you budge to you know to the advances i'm so sorry we have another caller hmm. hello hello I'm dean feeling... hi how are you i'm all right good evening good evening. good evening good evening how are you doing we're good how are you i'm fine thank you how's the day it's fine <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so we're talking about uh, money or love? Money, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think I'll go for love. Oh, really? Oh, people wait, now. Wait, 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 really? You go for love? Yeah. Tell us why. Um, yeah, because no matter how much money you, you have, it never lasts. Right now, I'm sure you, you guys are aware of um, what's happening to the dollar and the. <laughs> 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 nice one. Whatever you think is actually depleting, but yeah. um, <laughs> love is real. Yes. Especially when you have um, real love staring at you in the face. So. Mm. Have you had love is better? I want to ask you a question. Have you had real love staring you in the face? Just the way you said it. <laughs> a lot of times. Ah. But then, do you believe <laughs> love can grow? Um, if love can grow. Yes, like you can learn to love someone more. Of yes. Yes. Of okay. So it's, it's, um, it's, the thing is, okay. nobody is I, I don't think I believe in love at first sight. There has to oh, be okay. something to love about the person, yeah. right? Of course, yeah. You need to know quite a lot of things like attitude, personality, um, um, how somebody reacts in one circumstance or the other. Yeah. Yeah. So these things actually help to uh, make it come to the final decision if you're in love with this person or not. Okay. okay. You know? yep. uh, so yes, with, with time, it does grow. Especially you find yourself in very, you know, fortunate circumstances and the person sticks by you. Mm. Okay. And then you actually, you know, go to love the person more. Yeah. Okay, you're talking from experience, I guess. Yeah, I'm not a young man. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you so much, thank Dean, for you. calling. Keep watching the show. Bye. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, have a good evening. You, you too. Very polite. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's not... Perfect gentleman. But I hope he's got some money. <laughs> 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 it's true now. <laughs> Girlfriend, you know I like you. Be perfect, be gentlemanly. Sorry, Lord, for me, yeah. Yeah. Let's money. not forget the let's not forget the fact that I love money. Of money money so. answers, you know, a lot to a lot of problems. Yeah, so many blinks, I understand. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now let's consider the fact that there's so many things money cannot buy. True. Mm. Consider the laughter of a little child, for instance. Oh, you're so sweet. No, no, no. Listen, Boo Boo. These, these are serious issues. You are reciting story book. There are some things that <laughs> no, no. Listen. <laughs> I'm not listening. saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm. I can love without money, but let there be prospects of you of know. Course. And I, I understand the point you made earlier mm -hmm. that some people change when when money comes. Yeah. When they when because money intoxicates. Let's not forget see, that you begin money to see intoxicates. Uh, the thing is also like what you've said in regards to that people could change. Even if someone who didn't have money before mm -hmm. uh, gets money, mm -hmm. you, you mentioned. Yes. Okay, sorry. So many calls. Call. <laughs> hello, Moses. How are you? Moses yeah. World. Hello. I'm fine. Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Hi, let me say hi to all the guests in the house. Hey, what's Ladies. Up? Yo, yo, yo. Oh. <laughs> it's good to see your faces. Oh, thank, thank, thank you. you. It's good to you, hear your you voice. You all are beautiful girls. I know, thank ah. you so much. We're crazy you know, right? in the image of God. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to contribute to the issue at stake. Okay. Mm, okay, at stake. Like a I want to say that uh, love comes first. Hmm. Are you sure? Because uh, I would like to speak 
from the perspective that I'm a Christian. Okay. Okay. Because God is love and God is not money. <laughs> Wait, That's a nice line. How to start with God. And because God himself is embedded in love, mm. it must start with love. Yeah. Okay. So I'm speaking from that perspective to say that yeah. mm. when love comes first, money will follow. follow. Okay. Mm. He who find a wife, find a good mm, enough, find preach. the favor of God. When mm -hmm. the favor of God follows, money will Ooh. come your way. Amen. Amen. You, won't need, you won't need to suffer for money. God will definitely bless you with it. Amen. So I'm speaking from that perspective yeah. to say that love comes first and then money will follow. You're okay. right. You're very right. right. Thank, Thank you so much, Thank Mr. You. Moses. Keep watching Thank the you. show. Thank you. All right. Thank Bye. You. I completely See, agree with him. I, um, let me just okay. say, state this Finish. fact. I believe there are some blessings that come with the union of a man and a woman yeah. together that truly, genuinely love themselves. Yeah. And if a woman really loves you, she won't really bother about if you have money or you don't have money. Hmm. What you bother about instead is what are his prospects? What is the is he a dreamer? He is he a big thinker? Yeah. You might not have that money then in your pockets, but you might have it in the works. It's coming someday. Yeah. I've heard of s several stories where you know two people get married. They don't really have much, but along the along the line, as the years go by, you know they become really wealthy. So I think yeah, that that's that's a very good story that ends well. I mean, it's like. M and B kind of story happily ever after. See, oh, no, no. See, no, I'm I'm trying to be her. realistic of course, here. I understand. I'm trying to be apart from the fact that some people get intoxicated when the money comes. There are some men that eventually they will feel so frustrated they will start acting funny. Of course. When I the understand. woman maybe asks for this, asks for that, suddenly you see, God forbids, when like people that get married as as and go ahead and like okay to hell with sorry, pardon my Swahili. <laughs> do away with, gen um, with genotype issues, let's do this because we love each other. They get there, they have um, a sickle, and then they find themselves running from pillar to post. You know, these things will eventually enter into your life. It is a reality that you have to face. When you wake up in the morning, you can't pay your children's school fees. They are dead. At that point, you're not even mushy, you're not in love like that. So we have to face a reality That's, sometimes. Yeah, you yeah. know, you could believe that, mm -hmm. yes, eventually the money would come. But what if the money does not come? Can it's you handle love it? That we'll see you through Which things. love? Actually, yes. actually, like where you're coming from, because, you know, we were talking about something um, in when we're in the boardroom. Um, we mentioned that there are some guys where they string you along. Yeah. They don't have many they string you along. I remember a friend of mine, her, her boyfriend, oh, she's married now though, her boyfriend was stringing her along. And then he used to make comments like, don't worry, when I hit my, the jackpot, I'll come into your house, bring loads of cars. And when your dad sees me, he'll just, he wouldn't even ask for your diary. He will just... Yeah, right. And he strung her Go for on, hit, seven one, hit, years. One, seven hit years. that jackpot first. Strung her from saying, hello, Mr. Lexmi. <laughs> Mr. Lexmi, hello. Hello. Hi, Lexi. Yeah, Lexi calling. I know you're calling back. Go on, brother. Tell us what yeah. you... <laughs> I think I'm feeling Jerry Sola. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. Thank right. you, Jerry. It's all about the yeah. Benjamins. Let us just be realistic. Yeah. See, love is very important. That's very sure. But we might say, okay, let me love for money is going to come. What if the money didn't come? How are you going to cope? And we, I'm talking to my own perspective as a guy. Understand mm -hmm. now, fine. I know what you ladies want, I know what girls want. Um, so, me, okay, Some you girls. Know, I will go out today. I would like to do some so things. I like start complaining and get to me the next day because I don't have much of me. This, that, this, that. When I can't take care of my girl now, mm -hmm. we surely find someone else that will mm -hmm. do better than what I cannot do for her. Mm -hmm. Love is important, but let the money be clear. There is a lot is really getting it right. Thank How you very much. Your week? Very funny. How long will she wait? Thank you. Let me ask you a question, Lexi. Yes. How long okay. are you? Go How long do you intend to wait for this so-called money to drop on your lap? How long? I, One year, two years, I, I five years? I don't, I don't need to wait for too long. I don't really need to wait for too long okay. for the money to come. The same faith you're having now, you'd have it when you are... That one you're having in the marriage, you have it now and to come. <laughs> I have another question for you. I'm particularly worried okay. about guys. Because when you have right. so much money, how do you know if a girl truly loves you for who you are or she loves you because of you the have money. so much money? How do you, how That's can you tell? That's a good question for me. Thank you. 
they're fine. I, if I have money, I, I think I will, I will know my right person. I will know the right person. I will know the right girl for me because I'm the kind of person I put girls into so many things. I put them into, into tests. Hmm. And I know if you're after my money or not. After a while. Because I can't, I can't be with a girl for like 12 months and not know your true character. If hmm. you're after me for money or not. Because sometimes, okay, I might think, okay, I need to get you this, but I will possibly not get you the pain hmm. to see your reaction. Yeah. Okay, Lexi, can I, can I, I yeah, so, okay, sorry, Lexi, okay. sorry for, for cutting you short. I, I need you to go to our Facebook page after you've spoken to us. You need to let us know your tests so that other guys can also <laughs> follow suit. They can learn from you, my brother, because you seem to be a legend. <laughs> All right, no problem. That's Thank five. you. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. All right, keep See, watching the show. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hello, so I have Moses Wald again. Hello, Moses. Yeah, this is Moses Wald again. Oh, my yeah, brother, Moses. welcome, Moses, the deliverer. <laughs> All right, deliver us now. I have one or two things to say to, in a way, to uh, debunk what the last speaker have said. That's okay. fine. I want to say that money is the root of all evil. The love of money, Thank sir. You. The, love the love of money. Love of money. Oh, the love of money, yes. When we love money, mm -hmm. is the root of all evil. But it answers all things, sir. It does not answer all things. Ah, it's, it's in the Bible, oh, that Bible that we are quoting together. Pardon? The, you said the love of money is the root of all evil. We are quoting a particular yes. religious book. That same book says that money answers all things. He answers everything. Which religious book tells you that, please? The Bible, sir. Where is it in the Bible? Can you? I don't have it in my head right now. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. I have not read that. I let me say, let me tell you an, uh, 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 my own story. That's yes. fine. Okay, I'm married. Okay. All right. And uh, I, I, for six years now. Oh, congrats. When I got married to my wife, my salary was 8,000 Naira. Did you hear that? Yeah. How, how many of you guys there now will marry me because I'm earning 8,000 Naira? Oh, uh, okay. Now, let, me, let, me um, for that. Um, let me press for that. When I married my wife, mm. I was a diploma holder. Okay. Wow. When my wife was a degree holder. Wow. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. Hmm. Up now. She agreed to marry me not because of how much I have. Yeah. She had faith in God and she trusted God. But today I'm riding. I have two cars. Yay. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not because of how much I have. Mm -hmm. It's because of the faith we built in God, trusting God that it shall be well. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you that when we love money too much more than love, <laughs> the real love, the agape love, the love that comes from God, the divine love, mm -hmm. we will miss it. And that's why many of us ladies, get married to the wrong person and we, we no money is there in that relationship in that marriage yeah. but you don't enjoy the relationship mm. so we must be careful we yeah. must allow love to lead us and yeah. when love comes love i'm telling you every other good things we are we follow thank you so That's much said, thank you so much you. Sir. What the last sorry thing. sir so can i can i just read up something for you <laughs> that same yes. book i have found it <laughs> i searched for it ecclesiastes 10 19 a feast is made for laughter and wine maketh glad the life and money answereth all things okay <laughs> now That's now let me i hope Adele, Sarah, thank you. Now, the person you are quoting, that's King Solomon who wrote Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Had lots of How money. well was his relationship? Mm. Did he do well? Mm. How many wives did he have? Would he had 300, 700 that? concubines. He did very well. He managed mm. all of them very well. He managed all of them. And did he end well? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. He end well. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so we cannot take a clue from him. Of course. Ah. Well... All right. We will not. Thank you. I'm Thank you so much, Mr. Moses. For Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Very loud so and clear. Please leave yeah. your comment on our God Facebook you, uh, page. God, God bless you. So Thank you for calling. <laughs> all right. Okay. I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed his call. His, his call. I, I liked the banter between both of you. And uh, we're going to go watch uh, <laughs> our Vox Pop now. We're going to go see our Vox Pop now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just thinking about the money is the root of all I'm evil and blah, you. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> So we're going to be, we went to see a few people who had their opinions regarding yeah. love or money. So please take a look at this and we'll see you shortly. <laughs> I 
I think love. Money and love. I guess love is more important. Because with love, you can go extra miles. Sky is your limit. With love, you know, money, money can come anytime. And when money goes, does that mean the love will not be there? But love, love will still be there. Love. I think love is better than money. Even though money is necessary in every relationship or marriage, but I think love comes first. <laughs> Both of them are more important because the Bible said money and to all things, but the Bible did not put love. I didn't believe it's love. It love. <laughs> I know, yeah, people say money brings happiness, yeah, but I think love is just beautiful and it, com it, it could come with everything. Yeah, that's what I think. I think love. Love is the most important, but nowadays, Guess of nowadays love money, so you can buy their love with money. So, but my love is the most important. You can be living in in one, let me say one 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 papad house, and you'll be happier than the person living in the mansion. Do you understand? So, love for me is uh, to me, love is more important than marriage because let me tell you, when someone loves you, the person can go to any limit. But the guy that has money, that guy that can give you money and you'll not be happy. Money and love. Love brings money. <laughs> Show love first. Love brings money, truly. But these days, man, you be like saying I'm money now. <laughs>
That's very good. Really? I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. people that are having issues in their marriages now, or people that fight over money matters, they don't love each other. You follow money. True you love. love. You eventually, you might you eventually, um, um, that I'm them. And you follow money. When you eventually, when you, when you, you start selling your money, when you like it because of his money, then during that process, you eventually like it. Okay, I don't ask her, what if the money not finished? Or what if you not see so much? The money now just run down. Under a year or two now. Because of that money that makes you like it. After that period, period when he doesn't have money, he loves that you will not like it. The line is, network is yeah, kind yeah, of this funny. Love at first, because you love him, not because of the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because when he has money, you still love him. When he doesn't have money, you still... Maybe after you know, maybe when you get to my, when you get, there was no money. They said money started coming. When things were torn down, you still love him mm -hmm. because you loved him. That's why you, why that's yes. the reason why you married him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So thank you so true. much, thank you, Randy. So yeah. You have a lot of passion when <laughs> it comes to love. Thank you for calling. You know. Okay. okay. So in regards to what I was, I was saying. I mean, he's he's quite passionate about about love, and mm. that's very good for the, our guys. To be passionate. So can I just oh, look, okay, yeah, sure. okay, just before you read that. Um, the thing is, I'm not against loving your spouse. I'm not against loving your partner. However, I don't think that I would if I find myself in a situation where I okay, I love someone and the person is, uh, is you know, five k in this account today, Fast two k in this account anyway. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to go ahead and be prospecting, prospecting. Because the truth is, th there's a tendency for you to be humble, be nice, be kind, be everything that I want right now because you don't have that bulk of money there. The day the bulk comes, I really do not know what you're going to become. It's okay, risky I, I for think, me personally. I, think, oh, I don't know, know what if I'm going to go down I mean, that I'll probably agree with <laughs> what, what, yeah, what you're saying. He says, God made Adam and created Eve. If is there you, a difference? No, I don't. I'm just reading it. <laughs> okay. He says, okay, so I just, I had to do that because I can't see it so much. I need glasses. I have one, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, if you, you read, okay. and it says, if you read further, God opened a Barclays account for Adam. Oh, yeah. And deposited $580 for him to spend on Eve and spoil her. Thus, till this day, man has been stuck with the same responsibility <laughs> that's that's just tommy's opinion but then i need to go and read it again here's, 580 here's a comment from 580 like it sounds like the person yeah, is reading something else or, 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 no, no i think it's, it's just basically mm. okay here's a comment from um chin yu dini okay. okay it says love is paramount the money is key in complementing it mm -hmm. money kind of consummates love but money won't be my main reason for dating someone yeah I think I think I like I like what um, 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 Bello Zainab said. She says money is like a partner in a relationship. Okay. She said it is very very emotionally loaded. Hmm. It has to be uploaded and unloaded. <laughs> Sarcastic well, sarcastically once loaded doesn't need much testing in a relationship to work. Just like partners sit to discuss marital problems, money has to be discussed course, as well. Of course. Mm -hmm. of she course. says money is love, security, power. Freedom, money happiness, inside. money. Simply put, it is important as sex in a relationship. It's, it is important. Hmm, as important it's, as it's sex, important. yeah. It's important. It's yeah. important. I totally agree. But you see, there was something you mentioned earlier, Derry, that mm. if you if you marry, eventually marry someone out of love and mm. then you guys are struggling and all of that, it's if, tr if, if there's true love in that relationship, that's what will carry you through those difficult times. Yeah. So Except they say. one person has, you know. I'm so sorry, my pumpkin. That's fine, boo so, <laughs> Hello, Mr. Samuel. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello, Samuel. Hello. I don't know why the women are not Hello, calling Mr. in and Samuel. talking about How are you? Thing, I'm very fine. I'm very, very how was fine. Your, how was your Valentine's Day? Um, my Valentine's Day was it? Well, it was okay. It was okay. Okay. All right, Mr. Yeah. Samuel, I need you to contribute, and after that, we're, we're going to ask you a question because, um, seeing that you're married, you also yeah. have the opportunity to win a prize from Inside Eve. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's good. That's a good one. All right. So. All right. Okay. My contribution is this. Now, love or money, which is important. Mm -hmm. Now, I would say this: as much as I know that love is important, 
Asima. Mm. Money. It's very important. Oh, when the cocoa. Mm. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you why I say that. Now, uh, I have had, uh, what's it called? I have had a lady who I've, I, I, I proposed to, I have met her parents, tell me she returned my ring to me because I didn't have a 9 to 5. Because I was running my own gig, I was doing my own stuff. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, she broke up with me and returned the ring because of that, because of money. Now, up. Afterwards, when I now got a 9 5 job and I started to work, she saw me after, she saw me in church. I went, Oh wow, this guy has changed. And she called me up two weeks before my wedding. Wow. To hmm. tell me she wants to come back. Really? And you are telling me we that rebuke her. Day, it's not important. It depends. Please. But back this new depends. person, this new person didn't, to um, didn't come to you for money now. No, she didn't. But it was obvious that. I but by then, you already had some money, yeah? Oh, yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> So it was see, love with money this time around, you know. <laughs> you see, oh, I, yeah. I think her own... Uh, love, love needs money to, to flourish. If there is no money, love will die. I don't think so. I don't make, think make so, up, Mrs. Make up, Samuel. See, love, I don't think money so, is like Mrs. the makeup Samuel. that love wears. The way I don't we... Think so. I'm on your side tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'm on your side tonight. <laughs> really? Okay, oh, Nikoko. All right, Mrs. Samuel. But just before you go, you need to answer one question to qualify... For um, our prize. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, Mr. Oh. Someone has gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. We've lost the call. Oh my <laughs> God. Wow. Okay. So we have. Hello, hello, Mr. Lighter. How are you? Hi. Oh, Marathon. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Oh my God. <laughs> one, it's getting one, hot one, in one here. One of the girls in the studio is finding herself because of your voice. Yeah. Uh, oh my. <laughs> Oh my god. She's blushing. I'm blushing too. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um I just wanted to contribute to today's topic. Okay. okay. Um marriage, love or money. Yeah. Very interesting. From my point of view, I I think love definitely covers all. Mm -hmm. I think love is the greatest thing that can hold a marriage mm -hmm. through all the facade when, you know, <laughs> all the niceties leave yes. yeah. and then you're left stranded, you're left looking at each other. It's only love and friendship that can make it yeah. work. Money, yeah. no matter how much you pile the money on top of it, buy all the expensive diamonds, buy all the expensive jets, buy sure. everything. Money really can buy love and yeah. it can buy happiness. Okay. Trust me, I know. Thank you. I, I think that, I think one. that one of us in the studio, uh, her name is Darren. She's the one who says who thinks um, money prevails. Darren, I think you need to ask. Yeah. Him. Um, see the thing, Bubu. Eh, here now <coughs> you can't the, talk now because see, of the voice. <coughs> <coughs> see, mm, it's your kind of voice. Love is enough. <laughs> Love is more than enough. Well, there are few exceptions. Well, 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 really, why, why would you think money will conquer love? I'm not saying money would conquer <laughs> I love. I think she's speaking from Don't experience as well. Yeah. What I'm saying is I'd rather be with someone who already has some money than be with someone who is totally broke just because I'm in love with him. Aww. Because I cannot trust that his attitude would remain the same when the money comes. So I'm not ready to oh. run that risk anymore. <laughs> okay, I just let the cat out of the bag. I'm not ready to I'm run so that so risk. So I'm so sorry you went through that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't but say anything. Really? Um, I, I, I have a lot of, per, you know, people who I know that have personal experiences with dating because they want to go after some form of comfort or yeah, money okay. and some that, you know, just stick to love and decide that love is going to find a way. Okay. And trust me, over 95% of them have found their great yeah. way in life through just sticking with love and making it work. Yeah. Money, no matter how big the money is, no matter how comfortable you you think you want to be, trust me, look into most married couples' homes and you'll find out that those that are happy, they have love, not mm, money. Yes. Mm. Lo you know, lo money. Love is cool. Money yeah. advantage left to me. Yeah. Well, because thanks. there will be times to get exactly. broke, really. Money is an added advantage. That, that's that's yeah, like my is. take, yeah. Thank Thanks. you, thank but you I'd, so I'd have much. my own money too, so we we talk after this. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right. yeah. thank, thank, thank you, you so much, much. Lighter. Thank, thank you so much for watching the show. Have a lovely night. Bye. Great show, guys. Bye. Thanks. He doesn't want to stop nice. talking because oh. I say his voice is nice.
<laughs> you you need to take a final thought. My final thought for tonight. It's hot here. <laughs> Money is not the most important thing in the world. Love is. Fortunately, I love money. Hmm. Really? Are you surprised? <laughs> no. Mm. I love money. I know that money is not impo more important than Jamie, love. let me tell you yeah. something. When all the chips are down, mm. it's love that will pull you through. Right? Amen. Oh, you okay. Your I hope experience. Been able to, yeah, I agree. Uh, from my please, you tell us okay, your yeah, final words? Okay, my final words. A beautiful heart can bring, bring things into your life that all the money in the world can't obtain. Hmm. Okay, so I'll just go straight to mine because yours was just very heavenly and very beautiful. <laughs> now, mine simply is, I love money, but I am a total sucker for love. Yeah. I will choose love any day over money. Do not yawn, darling, but that's the truth. Yeah, that is the truth. All right, on behalf of the ladies of Inside Eve, <laughs> Boo Boo, Darren, and Froma, we're saying, have a lovely night. We'll see yeah. you here on Wednesday. Please. Choose love, because love rules yeah. this world. Yeah, love money rocks. makes it look good, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>